As the world catches the taste for sushi, bluefin tuna is big business. One fish can sell for $100,000. But some say Atlantic bluefin, the kind caught in the Mediterranean, is on the verge of collapse. The rules that protect them don't work, and we've found out why. The black market in tuna has spanned the world. To find out how it works, we've joined forces with the Washington-based International Consortium of Investigative Journalists, the ICIJ. Since 1969, fishing and trade in bluefin has been regulated by ICAT, the International Commission for the Conservation of Atlantic Tunas. ICAT's International Panel of Scientists advises on sustainable fishing levels. For years, their recommendations had been ignored. It's disappointing. If the country would have understood that, they would have implemented around this level, and then there would have been no risk of collapse within this population. But because he didn't listen, and didn't pay at all attention, and didn't implement or even, even control, and then it, it, in 2006, we started to speak about risk of collapse. Roberto Mielgo consults for the fishing industry, environmental groups, and for the ICIJ. He says stocks risk collapse, not just because quotas are too high, but because of a legacy of years of cheating. Cheating was part of the game and a business necessity in order to survive. In 2008, ICAT introduced the BCD, the Bluefin Catch Document. It was meant to be the ultimate weapon against illegal fishing. Every net load of tuna now gets a unique BCD number. But we've found the very system designed to save the Bluefin is flawed and incomplete. You're looking at about 80% of all of the percent catches were missing something. It doesn't have a country, it doesn't have any kind of import information. Some information that would let me know if this fish was legal. We are explaining to contracting parties the difficulty we are facing using this document and we are having here people using this for, but and, and, no, and we are having difficulties there are some possibilities if we adopt uh, several management measures with the precaution, we can have a better situation and the stock sh could be rebuilt. We could have avoided this situation. It was so obvious that if we continue like that, it was not sustainable. The truth is that bluefin tuna are still living on the edge.